you just you go into the back there and you just you've been entered in and there's like 80 90 people in there and you just sit there and, and what didn't take long they call your name and they, they do the blood but you go in Canada and you see 80 people and it's like oh my god this is gonna be you're gonna be here for a few hours right yeah. they turned around and within a half an hour I Dr. Laton seen me that he was able to go up on the computer and most of my blood work had that was already done so good. one thing about seeing all the all the doctors they all did a really good exam like not just your blood you know they they did the you know exam I, I've seen a lot of doctors and they just talk to you and your exam's done it's like whoa <laughs> what is that right um, kind of I didn't expect actually all this to happen in such a sport, short space of time I think that's kind of the amazing thing about it and they said they between the three of them decided yeah do a bone marrow I was in that afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, three o'clock. I had the bone marrow. That at the same time, the doc, the the, the whatever floor specialty specialist that you you do see will um, try to fit you in and um, making you feel like it's the patient that's important, not not it's not their time. They're they're gonna. You know, if they have to run behind a little bit, then... And then another thing that I um, seen the dermatologist that I was so impressed on, which kind of gave me a little kind of boost in, in our Canadian um, doctors, is, like, my specialist uh, that I see in, in Vancouver, based out of U uh, University of British Columbia, um, and their, their research is that uh, he confers with them often here, and they know him very well, and he's highly recommended. I guess they confer back and forth between countries. And even my uh, rheumatologist just in Kelowna is, they know him, of him too. So that made me feel good. And, and I was told that the specialists I do have in Canada are great. Part of the reason what led me directly to come here, my um, final reason was my uh, January, I got so nauseous um, again. And I'm just, I'm tired of it. Like I, I, I'm a very active uh, woman, I play ladies fastball and I golf, and I want to. Last year I didn't um, play ball too much at all. Just it wasn't in. I couldn't. I, I got sick too often. I got so sick, and I'm okay. Sick, I'm sick of being sick, and I went to see my rheumatologist, and he goes, "Well, there's a medication we get, can give you. That's you inject yourself, and but it's not covered by the Canadian government uh, through your health card. And I have because I'm native uh, Canadian status, your status won't cover it either." And you would have to self-inject and come into the hospital once a month to get it intravenously done. And I'm like, well, I said, why would I spend twenty thousand dollars on something we don't know definitively? You know that what is wrong with me? Bottom line. And I said, well, my mom and I had been talking about uh, we did, had done a little research on the Mayo Clinic and uh, um, just bought basically they could get all my answers. Hopefully, get and if not. I'm, I'm not coming here to get treated, I'm coming here to get answers. And possible, then they can give my doctors possible treatments that they, which they recommend for my, bet, to better my quality of life. And he says, well, the Mayo Clinic is not covered under um, co uh, your medical or status either. And I said, I realize that, but you know what? I, at this point, I'd rather spend my money there than on a medication that we don't even know is the, that's what's what is wrong with me, right? That is mm -hmm. required. And um, I have no regrets whatsoever spending mm -hmm. money at all.